Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the game Dragon Keepers. A game where you're going to collect cute little dragons only to turn them in again so you can score the rewards which will give you points at the end of the game. So please let me show you how it's played. And this game is for two up to four Dragon Keepers. The main part of the game are these two decks of cards. They all have cute little dragons on one side, but on the other side one deck has a number and the reward you will get for playing the number of dragons in the right color. The other deck, also dragons on the front, cute little dragons. There's a little dragon also on the back side of the card and there are four different colors in the deck. This is a little small expansion you can add to the game once you're familiar with the game so leave that aside for now and I'll show you those at the end of the video. These cards will have this banner on the bottom. The starting player will get none of these cards. The player next will get one. Then the next player after that will get two of these cards. And the fourth player will get three cards. So those players will have some starting dragons in their hands. These black dragons you will set aside. They have the number six on the back side. The cards in this deck go from number one up to number five. This number six you will put aside because you can get them as a reward when playing your dragons. And finally we have these amulets, one third of an amulet. They are ranked from 1 up to 20. At the start of the game you will put them all face down, give them a shuffle and you will remove a number of amulets based on the number of players. So the distribution of the numbers will be different each game. And the ones you did not discard you will sort by number, placing them in stacks and so they are available for all players. And the end of the game will be triggered once all players total have completed 7 of those amulets. And these are some rewards you will score during the game. And I'll tell you when we get to that. When it's your turn, it's very simple. You pick 1, 2 or 3 cards from the display. So you must take at least 1 card, but you're allowed to take up to 3. At the end of the turn, what's left on the 2 top cards of the deck will tell you the number of dragons and the color of the dragons you can play in order to score the bonus on the card. But when you're done with your turn, all other players will also get a chance to play that combination in front of them. So at the moment we are asked to play 5 green dragons. Since I'm the starting player I have no cards in my hand and I must take one card. So for example I'll take this white dragon, immediately replace the card you took with a new one. So here's now one green dragon. But also this number changed, so now we only need to play one green dragon at the end of our turn. So I'll take a second card. Taking this one. I'm still not able to play the cards that are asked. Two green dragons, but I only have one, so I'll take this card also. Now I have two green dragons. And now I've taken three cards, I'm not allowed to take any more. Now I'm going to look what's over here. This says you have to play down, if you can, one green dragon. Well, I have three of them, so that's okay. I am allowed to change the book. After my turn, I can hand in cards again. And I can see on this front side of the card, which number will be on the other side of this card. So if I put this card back on top of the deck, it will have the number 4 on it. But I don't have four green dragons, so of course I'm not going to add this card to the deck. But you are able to change the value of the deck. Also, if I take card from this side of the deck, then I can see the color that is on the other side of the card. So if I had this card, I could return it to the deck. And then there would be a requirement of one white dragon. But I didn't get a card on this side, so at the moment I'm only able to change the number and not the color. I can choose not to play any dragons in front of me and keep collecting them until I have a bigger number. But for now, let's play the one green dragon. And you simply play it in front of you. And now you score the bonus. In this case, I will get one third of a rune. And if it's just this symbol, I will get the lowest number available. So that would be number one. And I put it in front of me, I can flip it face down. And also I will get one blue crystal. 
Now my turn is finished, but all other players are also allowed to play one green dragon in order to score also one part of an amulet and the blue crystal. So this combination is for all players. Then as the next player, they will take one, two or three cards, possibly putting cards back on top of the deck. And so you keep playing. When you get this as a bonus, you will score of course one part of an amulet. You will always score one part of the amulet, in this case the lowest number. And you will score a black dragon, that is this card. And you can play this dragon as if it's any of the four colors that are asked. So in this case the spellbook asks for four blue dragons, but I have only three of them. I can add my black dragon to make it four. And you can add as many black dragons as you want. Or you can use the other side of the card. Once you've collected a lot of dragons in a particular color, you can turn it into a number six on the spellbook. And when you complete a number six, you will score two parts of the amulet. This one with the crown inside of it means you can get the highest number. So in this case that would be a number 20, being worth 20 points at the end of the game. And one of the lowest ones, so still a number one over here. Once you've completed an amulet, you can put a pearl inside of it. There are three red ones, worth eight or nine points. And there are the blue ones being worth three or four points. So the first three amulets to be completed will get, of course, a red pearl. And you put this one inside of it, and now it's completed. Once there are seven amulets completed in total by any number of players, then the game will end and will score points. But also, as a bonus, you are able to get the golden X. In this case, one part of the lowest value amulet and a golden egg. Each egg will be worth four points at the end of the game. However, at the end of the game, we're going to look who has the most golden eggs. And that player, say I collect a tree and I have the most, that player can flip one egg to the other side and then it's worth 16 points. So a nice bonus to score if you've collected the most golden eggs at the end of the game. But there's also a very important tactical aspect to this game. Because the next time I would score green dragons, I'll simply put them on top of the other green dragons that are still over here. If for now the requirement is two blue dragons, I'll put them over here. And maybe in a later round there are also required two dragons and I still have two of them, I can put them on top of these. However, once you start collecting a third color, so maybe orange, I have to put it on either side of these two cards. And that means the blue dragon is now locked and I cannot add any more blue dragons to my scoring area. So whenever the book asks for blue dragons, I cannot take part in that anymore. Maybe I want to put it over here, but now I cannot play any green dragons anymore for the rest of the game. And once you will play your fourth color dragons, so the white ones, I can put them over here. That means I cannot play any more orange or green dragons, or I can put it over here. And now I can't play any more green and blue dragons. However, the first player to have played all four colors of dragons will score a diversity token. You take the highest one. In a two player game, the number 16 is not in play, but otherwise you will take the number 16. The next player to do so will take the second shield being worth 10 points. And then the third player can score six points for getting all four colors in front of him. And so play continues until seven amulets are made. So that can also happen when you're the starting player and another player finishes his or her amulet and that would mean there are seven amulets complete now. Then the game will end after the turn has ended. And then of course we're gonna score points. You're gonna flip over all your amulet parts, also the ones you have not completed. And all parts will be worth the points that are on the other side of the amulet part. You will score the points for your pearls. You will score the shields if you have collected all four of the dragons. And you will score all points for your golden axe you have collected. And the player who has the most collected can flip one golden axe to the other side. So it's worth 16 points instead of 4. And then the player who has the most points is the winner. Should there be a tie, then the player wins who has the most played dragons in front of him. Should it also be a tie, then those players share the victory. And once you've played some games, you can add the magic boxes to change one of the rules of the game. You only play with one of these tokens, so you should give them a shuffle, and you add this one to the game. Although, of course, it's perfectly fine if you want to add more of these tiles to the game. 
To activate these chests, you always have to pay one blue crystal. In this case, you can change the color of the dragon that is demanded by the book. So now the book requires two blue dragons. Maybe I have two green dragons. If I have a blue crystal, I can turn it in to the supply and then I can play two green dragons instead of two blue dragons. The horn, like I said, once you've put dragons on both sides of another dragon, you cannot add any more cards to that color. But for one crystal, now I'm allowed to add cards to the green or the blue dragons, even if they are locked in between other dragons. If this one is in the game, you can pay one blue crystal at the start of your turn to take the top card of both decks into your hand. And then you still take one, two or three other cards. With this flute, once you've completed your turn and you played down some dragon cards, you can take all cards back into your hand, minus one. And that's of course very nice when you've played a high number of cards. But again, this will cost you one blue crystal to do so. This one will give you, for paying one crystal, one discount of the number of required dragons. Although the number always has to be at least one. So you're not allowed to activate this one when there's only one dragon asked. And finally, there's this one. This will allow you to upgrade one of the amulet tokens you are allowed to get. So if I get the lowest number, I can pay one crystal to get one amulet higher. So in this case, I would get the part that's worth four points. And those are the magic chests you can add to this game if you want to have some variation in the normal gameplay. And that is how you play Dragon Keepers. Take one, two or three cards from the display. Check the magic book what color dragon and how many of them you need to score the bonus for this round. You can return cards from your hand on top of the deck to change it into something you like. But no matter if you're able to play those dragons yourself, all other players will also get a chance to play those dragons. By laying down those dragons, you will score amulets, blue crystals, golden eggs, or maybe the black dragons. Those you can use for a while or use them for the other side to put down a number six on top of the book. Playing a third color of dragons will eliminate one of the other colors, so you cannot score that colored dragon again. And once you've come to four color dragons, you can only add cards to the two dragons on the outside of your row. However, once you've played all four dragons, you will score a diversity bonus. And the first three amulets to be completed will score more points from the pearls than the ones that are scored after that. And that is how you play Dragon Keepers. If you have any questions about this game, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. My name is David, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.